In this video, the wind is blowing about 13 miles an hour coming in just left of center. You can see it takes a bit to change direction and go into the wind. To paddle solo in a tandem kayak, you usually have to be seated near the center of the boat to have adequate control as I am doing here. I'm also kneeling to make it easier to paddle harder, which conditions warrant. Inflatables are not known for their great handling characteristics, and the wind certainly does not help. The flat bottom does not track well, which results in a line back and forth at the bow, and the high bow does catch a lot of wind and can blow you off course. Considerable effort is needed to paddle against the wind, and paddle strokes need to be quick to keep forward momentum. My upright position also catches a lot of wind, as do the paddle blades as they go from side to side. Of course, going with the wind is a whole lot easier. Now, I think a lot of people may think I have lousy paddling techniques, and they're right. But then I don't paddle much because I prefer to pedal. It takes much less body motion to do and frees up your hands at the same time. And now let's try the same conditions with the pedal prop. To go in reverse, all one has to do is pedal backwards. No need to pull shift levers or whatever. It's all hands free. Notice that the operator's position is in the normal rear seat of a tandem watercraft. This is possible because the addition of a rudder anchors the stern and allows for better control than turning by paddling. In this point of view, you can see the water is a little choppy, but the track is still straight with no side to side motion as with paddling. My hands are also free to use the camera, unlike with paddling. Turns are quick, easy, and continuous, even as I turn 180 degrees downwind. The continuous force of the propeller against the rudder makes the boat act like it is on rails. The rudder is controlled by pull-pull cables connected to a lever near the operator's hand. The close couple propeller and the rudder make for quick responsive steering, regardless of your forward speed. You can notice there is a lot less body movement going on with the pedal prop as opposed to paddling. My lower seated position also catches a lot less wind. The pedal prop's trouble-free shallow water operation, close couple propeller and rudder in the stern, and easy no hands reverse provides your watercraft with unexcelled operational capability. And unlike most all other pedal drives, it is not necessary to change over to paddling in shallow water and beaching. There's also no need to lift the drive up. All you have to do is continue to pedal and go directly on shore. Thank you for watching.